welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining you about a very common problem with the bluetooth that comes on your windows 10 and windows 11. so what happened when you make a right click on the windows icon go to settings go to bluetooth and services you either find that the bluetooth switch is missing and when you try to connect any kind of device so you get an error message couldn't connect so there can be multiple reasons for it so i will be sharing few effective solutions that you need to apply and if you apply them properly and do not escape any one of them, then I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. Now, the first thing that I would recommend you that you should go ahead and run the DISM and the SFC scan that will be looking for any kind of infection or any kind of problem with the windows and it will try to fix it. So you need to click on your windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to type the command that will be dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health hit the enter key now this command you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste now this command will take some time so what we can do we can minimize it and now next you have to click on your windows search type services hit the enter key now here you have to scroll down a bit and you will find few services related to the bluetooth so you need to check all of them and make sure that all the bluetooth services are properly running in the automatic mode so click on them and make sure the startup type has been selected to automatic and the status is running even if it's running then you can click on the stop then click on start again click apply click on ok do the same with the other one make sure it's automatic and the status is running if you're already running then you have to stop it and then start again do the same with the other one as well and once you are all done you also need to make sure that the fast startup has been disabled because majority of the time the fast startup creates this kind of problem with many kind of uh, adapter like Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So for that, click on your Windows search. Type power CFG dot CPL. Hit the enter key again. Now here on the left hand side, you will be getting an option. Choose what the power button do. Click on it. And here in the shutdown setting, you will be getting an option of fast startup. It's not showing on my end, but you will find the fast startup option over here. So in order to disable it, first you have to click on change setting that are currently unavailable. And these options will be highlighted. Then you have to uncheck the fast startup option and then click on save changes. Once it's been done, you can close it. Now bring up the command prompt. We can see the command is completed. Now the next command will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Again, hit the enter key and this will be also taking some time so we can minimize it. And now next, make a right click on the windows icon. Click on device manager. Now here, many of you will find the Bluetooth option, but many of you will find that the Bluetooth option has been disappeared. So if you don't find the Bluetooth option, what you can do from the top menu option, click on view, then click on show hidden devices. Then check back if the Bluetooth option is showing or not. And still, if it doesn't show up, then click on any of the adapter then click on action then click scan for hardware changes again check back and still if you don't find then you can proceed with the next step but if you find the bluetooth option here then what the first thing that you have to make sure that your bluetooth adapter has not been disabled so on my end you can see that the intel wireless bluetooth has been disabled so i will make a right click on it and choose enable device and the next what you will have to do right click on your bluetooth adapter choose update driver click search automatically for driver now you can close it and this time if i go back so you can see that the bluetooth on off switch is also back and if i try to add any kind of device i will not be getting any option of couldn't connect all right so this is how you can fix this problem but in case if you don't find the bluetooth option in the device manager or your problem has not been fixed the next what you will have to do bring any of your favorite browser open google 
and in the google you have to type intel bluetooth driver now if you're using any other manufacturer then you can replace the intel with that particular name then you can click on the first link of intel i will also leave the direct link and here you have to click on the first link that says download bt windows 10 for windows 11 so you can click on this link once it get downloaded you have to install it it's very easy to install and once it get installed then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then check back if the problem has been fixed now in case if all these methods doesn't work then next what you will have to do you need to power flush your computer and that is very easy to do if you are using a pc then just turn off your computer remove the power cable remove all kind of external devices like mouse usb any kind of pen drive printer anything that you have connected to your pc you will have to remove it now once it's been removed you need to press and hold on the power key for 25 to 30 seconds keep holding it and once done again plug all the devices back connect the power cable again then restart the computer and i'm very sure that this time your problem will be fixed you need to do the same with the laptop if you're using a laptop then remove the battery if you have the removable battery remove the charger remove any kind of external devices then press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds then again you can connect everything and restart the computer so now this time when you will check back i'm very sure your problem will be fixed but in case after applying all the solution if nothing is working for you then there can be a problem with the uh, bluetooth hardware but still what you can do the last method is restoring your computer to the previous stage when it was working fine so what you can do you can click on your windows search type rs trui dot exe hit the enter key the restore page will be up click on next now this will display all kind of restore point that you have created so select the one where your computer was working fine then click on next and then click on finish the system will be restoring to that particular date when the computer was working fine and again you can check back i'm very sure after applying all this solution your problem will be fixed so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all this solution your bluetooth couldn't connect problem will be fixed and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and please let us know that which method worked for you so that the other people can also get the help and i see you in the next video bye bye